Welcome back to the channel. I hope you enjoyed that intro. Many thanks to Weeby for making that perfect. I think we all needed that. Speaking of what you need though, ladies and gentlemen, today the merch drops for the F-14. This might be the best F-14 merch ever. Now, sure, I'm biased. Like, it's simple as this. If, let's say this video gets 200,000 views and every one of y'all pick up a Danger Zone or a Keeping Up the Foreign Relations t-shirt, I can end world hunger. Simple as that. Think of this as a charity to fly daily. But you got to pick one of these up. Like, if you like F-14, you will like this shirt. Check this out. Look at this. We have Danger Zone. Look at... Look at the detail in this. Look at the back of the plane with the sun and the exhaust heat is making a little mirage. It's just... Mm. So that's Danger Zone. And the next design is keeping up foreign relations with the inverted F-14 flipping them the bird to keep up foreign relations. Now we have this in normal color and then we have it in a little bit of a retro highlighting some purples and some pinks. And I gotta say right now, my whole entire closet. I got all the samples, thank you Bunker Branding. And uh, that's all I've been wearing. I'm wearing it right now. Look, look, look at me, th th look. I'll, I'll take a picture and put it on right now. Link description below to pick one up today. And thank you. It's just amazing that a lot of y'all wanna wear stuff that the channel creates. And if you do pick one up, because I know uh, 200,000 people are going to pick one up from this video, 100%, tag me on Twitter or Instagram, okay? I want to see it on your body. It's just surreal to see this thing in the game. It's just, it's really, it's strange. Like, this is something that I would imagine in the game one day, and we're finally here. You know, I've been playing War Thunder for 10 years, but still, it felt like it felt like yesterday when I played on my Dell XPS 8500 with the P26B shooter. If you guys look at my first video, that's what I was doing. I was like, oh my gosh, look at my graphics and frame rate. Bless that computer. That thing was a workhorse for a while, for a while. Anyways, um, F14, I can't stop looking at it. We're using the experimental camo, which looks great. Today, we're going to be testing it out an air realistic battle. We're gonna see how TW, TWS is working, how the Phoenix missiles are working now that we're on the live server. It seemed that War Thunder took a couple extra days, maybe even a week to fine tune some of the things in this patch, which I think was mainly the TWS and the, and the Phoenix, because it was a clutter and a half on the dev server. The loadout that we're going to be beginning with is a kind of jack of all trades. This is a custom loadout. We have the I'm I'm aim nine H's with a big old bore. Uh, we have the Phoenix missiles and we have aim seven uh, or aim seven fighting sparrows, which are nice close range, medium close radar. And then I think we're just going to load this thing fully up with uh, Phoenixes and uh, <laughs> go from there fellas hope you enjoy today's video and here we go all right one f14 two f14 three four nice Ooh, i like that i like that tip i like that tip i wonder okay we're versing other f14s i mean that's that's kind of how it's going to go for probably a couple weeks all right but let's see how fast we can we can catch the J. Like the thing is, people don't realize the F4J or just like the top modification of the F4 is quite insane. Now it looks like that guy is pretty naked and we're carrying a whole lot of missiles. Look at this thing. Look at this beautiful loadout. Four fighting sparrows, two phoenixes and two H's. Ready to go. <laughs> but it's no match for the F-14. I don't know if he air brake to get into a formation. Yeah, he's gun podding some missiles. Okay, let's break left. Ah, man, guys, we are in, we are in the day, the era of F-16s, MiG-29s. 
Sorry, my, I, my, my brain just stopped working there for a little bit. All right, let's get our um, track while scan radar online. And let's go and select our Phoenixes. Let's just send one out. You know, first game, what's the worst that can happen? 35 kilometers away and climbing. It's pretty docile how they've kind of fixed the TWS. It's not as ridiculous as it was. 27 in closing. We have a proper lock. And we're going to let it go off the rails. I don't know. I don't think it's going to get there. Hang on. No, 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 no. Paul, stop that. Okay, we're going with this guy. Off the rails. Who knows? Sparrows. We're going to change our radar up to search. Yeah, I'm just going to pull off and see what those want to do. Oh, I think one, one almost went pit bull on one guy. One almost did that. Let's see if any are still in the air. Oh, what the crap. It's like ace combat. Okay. Now let's get this radar better set up. Let's see if my key binds are right. Okay, we have pulse doppler. That should lock him, but doesn't want to. I've been struggling with the PD. I, I, I don't know if I'm using the correct setting or it doesn't like to look down too much. There we go. That's a mean missile right there. That's a mean missile. That missile's angry. Beautiful, critical. We've got one coming right at us. Ooh. Oh man, we got it. We gotta, we gotta run. We gotta run now. Get another F4 coming in. We're gonna switch to sparrows here. Dropping flares. That guy's angry. Oh, that, this is not good. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Learning. Learning. Do not do that at low altitude. With the F4, <clears throat> F14, those phoenixes, I mean, send them off the rail early game. What's going to happen is that even if it doesn't want to go for the target you initially want it to track at, as it does TWS towards the center of the battlefield, it's going to pit bull on somebody. We launched one of those missiles at 22, I think, kilometers away. Hot darn. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. Does that trigger anybody? Hot dog song, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Show is dank. All right, so we got 45 minutes of fuel, and we're taking six of these. Now, I could say I just want to test out the AIM-54 Phoenix, which, which we pretty much are, or TWS, but holy F-14s. But primarily, I just want to fire all these six off at one target like it's ace combat and see if they can dodge him. Holy cannoli. Oh, man, do you remember when Reddit, you know, was up in arms about Fly Daily semi-hinting at MiG-21 confirmed? And they were, mmm. They called me mentally slow, YouTuber, who doesn't know anything. Which, which, is, which, is, which is fair. But where are they now? The F-14's here. f 14 suck it. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, in like 2018, me and CEO were playing War Thunder talking about updates and stuff, and I think we were, I don't know how we got on the subject, but we were, and I just hinted at MiG-21 confirmed with a question mark. And then CEO made a post says MiG-21's not confirmed. And then Reddit hated me. And then now they're, look at them. Like, what are, what are they doing right now? I bet all of them are watching furry. All right, but anyways, we took 45 minutes of fuel. As you can see, we are burning right through that. One point, one, 1 1.10 in the climb. All right, let's turn in a little bit. Let's see how powerful this TWS is. This is more than enough altitude, but let's just go sky high here. 
No one lock me, please. Oh, this is gorgeous. Look at this. Look how pretty it is. Oh my gosh. Oh my bam 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 bam. Okay, we're at good enough altitude, 30 minutes of fuel left. Alright, give me a TWS. No, no radar lockies. We got this guy over here. 29. Pretty low. I don't know if it's AI. We lost that TWS. Whoa. Is that a missile? That's pretty fast. That's a missile. But this, the, the plane's right behind him. Yeah. We're going more. 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 We got two more left, boys. The missiles are going. One more. Get it out. Okay, all missiles are out. You can't dodge this. No, don't pip. Oh. Pipple on another one. Pipple on another one. Okay, we got one incoming. We got a notch. Whoa! <laughs> okay, well, good. With six uh, Phoenixes at one target, they cannot get away. We did not need the other five, so T. All right. All right, well, Phoenixes do work. And I think it was our first Phoenix that we launched, and then we like went with like the whole, you know, five more that did the trick. So it's really shaping up to be that the, the Phoenixes are pretty lethal from high altitude, long range, and um, not knowing what's coming. But uh, we're back to our two Phoenixes and four Sparrows for ultimate effectiveness in kind of some long range early game and then we move in for medium range and then uh we have aim nine for nice close I think, I think that's a good that feels like a pretty good combo right there tws and i'm feel sheesh i'm feeling pretty comfortable right now Wow, MiG 23's got a. Mm, nope, far out. Okay. I want to pick up someone like right at my level. What do we got here? That's going to be enemy jet. Could be an AI. Yeah, it is enemy jet. Okay, we got one. Let's launch. On the way. We're getting a radar. Already gone. Got another one. That feels pretty... That feels like a missile to me. Okay, but now we're on the Sparrows changing radar. I just kind of want to follow that missile. It's tracking something. Oh, yeah. It's pit bulling on to... Oh, not a... Where is it going? It's pulling on to the 23. Oh, my Lanta. Wow. Trying to get this SU-17 here. Did you get him? All right, good, good, good. Okay, let's turn our attention. Watch the pull here. We're going Mach 1.2. Might have to use some... Just need to get a nice... Uh, we're right above the fight, which is not good. Watch out, F4. Nice dodge. We're going we're, we're gonna to have to help this, F, this F4 out. Come on, baby. Let's go. Oh, missed. MiG-27 is coming around. No, MiG-23 MiG is coming around. We got to get fast here. 
Well, that's gonna be a mi miss missile from him. Keep it going, keep it going. Don't know what kind of missile this is. It's looking heat. Nice, good help right there. And we're going back in, uh-oh, crap. One more to our right. No, that, that, oh no, we got one more up here. Oh, someone's got a Phoenix up. Oh crap, one's right behind me. Let's see if we can't go with guns. Sidewinders online. Going with a sidewinder here. Look at that board, baby. Get him. Nice, critical. Oh my. Okay, 12 minutes of fuel left. We gotta find, oh, the game, the AIs? They, no, I think they were, they just returned back to base. I really gotta watch that Phoenix. That was, like early game, if you're not, you're just, you're, you're just not safe. Like you think you might be safe, but a, a Phoenix is, there's a high chance of it on the way. Now the first one we launched, I don't think we had anything with it. Now wait, can't I just press U and follow it? In this in this mode? No, I can't. Okay, this is the one. This is the one. Don't we have a uh I think we I think for this look at it. Hang on, slow it down. Slow it down. This thing just went from TWS to, I don't know, like they got a pit bull from this far out. Okay, falling in a little bit. See, this is where the Phoenixes like really excel at, like when they go down. Oh, she is kicking it right now. <laughs> this thing's going really fast. Because the top speed, it says, is Mach 4.3. It's dropping flares. But the Phoenix from downtown. I don't think this MIG ever saw it. Yeah, she goes right into it. Let's see where it explodes. Right in front of it. Oh. Uh. Now, there is a new radar mode in War Thunder that we might make a video on. Maybe in a later this week or this weekend where you can actually control it and select the targets you want to lock lock up like dcs so that really might help with tws and you know with all that information you actually to pick the one you really want sorry a little bit of a tangent there i have a question though um see see the uh, ailerons or the spoilers going up and down to rotate the aircraft watch when we get into mock It's just the elevators now, the independent elevators. It's the same principle. Whoa, uh, I'm not ready for this. Why not? Let's just, uh, missile, missile ready. All right, um, here I want, I want to get one of these ones off. Okay, she's off the rail. See you later. We're pulling out. Oh my goodness gracious. Pulling full out now. Guys, look at it. Was a mat. <clears throat> How much explosive mass does this thing have? 60 kilograms. 
Just for comparison, a normal aim has like three to four. Okay, setting up for round two. Oh, Sparrow? Uh, actually, maybe uh, TWS again. Sparrow would have to be a better one right now. Let's try to... Nah, we're going to stay on the Sparrows here. I don't think this... Uh, yeah, this guy's not going to be alive for too much longer. Okay, back into our, uh, our Phoenixes. Oh, back into Sparrows. Changing radar over again. Give me a lock. Ooh, we got him. No, oh, yep, we got him. Wow, game's over. That's the last guy right there. What? What is this? Uh, T46. Awesome. Fellas, I hope you enjoyed today's video. This thing has added a whole new uh, meta in top tier aircraft. These poor, my, my question is why is this little guy, why is this little guy 11.0? And I'm just 0 0.3 higher. Look at this guy. And I'm sure it wasn't, I mean, I get, what? Oh yeah, we have incendiary bombs we gotta take out. I'm really interested to see what see what those do to tanks. Probably really nothing. Maybe something, maybe open tops, maybe it just looks cool. But um the uh the compression is real right now with the Phoenix. If you if you take four of them, you definitely can get one kill. One kill at top tier is like good. No kills at top tier is okay. Like that's how that's how quick the games are. Fellas, love you guys. T-shirts, merch down below. We'll be back tomorrow with the F-14, maybe some close air support, and see what other stuff we can get involved with. Yeah, it's going to be good. Fellas, see you tomorrow. Peace out.